Hey everybody and welcome to this video. I'm Inks Laura123. This is going to be a spend the weekend with me vlog so hope you enjoy watching. If you do please click like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel that would be awesome. Also don't forget to smash the notification bell to all notifications then you can see when I've uploaded new videos and also when I'm doing live streams. So it's Saturday morning, the time is 25 past 10 and I'm on the exercise bike in my Minnie Mouse nightdress because I'm cool like that. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I do like to do these early morning kind of weekend exercise sessions. Yeah, I can't do it in the week because obviously I, I start work at like nine o'clock. So um, yeah, but on the weekend, I do like to kind of just get up get on the exercise bike um two reasons number one doing it early i know it's done and number two it does actually lift my mood and kind of motivate and like wake me up for the day a bit so yeah there we go on the exercise bike <sighs> um so yeah it's gonna be a busy weekend but i'm looking forward to it i am feeling very anxious and nervous but it's gonna be fine because tonight me and Nathan are going out. Shocker. <laughs> We're going out. Um, no, no, we do we do go out in the day, but it's normally like just for a walk or shopping, do you know what I mean? But we're actually going, as they say, out, out. So it's Nathan's cousin's 21st birthday party, and we've been invited to it. And uh, her name's Becky. She's so sweet. Like, she's absolutely adorable. I met her years ago um, when I kind of first got with Nathan. And she was just like a little kid and now she's like 21 so it's making me feel really old but she's absolutely adorable you know she's a really sweet girl and she does a lot for charity and she loves animals and she's just really beautiful like she's so pretty she could be like a model or something seriously um so it's her 21st birthday and she's hired out or the family have hired out a hall so nathan's family are going to be there um I'm just really nervous. <laughs> like, I'm looking forward to it. It is going to be good to get dressed up, go out. Me and Nathan actually, you know, let her hair down a little bit, try and have some fun, have a drink, and just, you know, seeing his family would be good. And, you know, the music and like a party vibe. But as ever, being an anxious person that I am, finding everything overwhelming, it, it is tough as well. So I'm kind of torn between half looking forward to it, genuinely looking forward to it and excited, the other half freaking out, nervous, anxious, paranoid. So there we go. <laughs> I'm not good in group situations. Like It's really weird, I suppose, because in my vlogs, I do come across very loud and positive and, and confident. And, you know, I film, obviously, when I'm out and about and, you know, but that's on my own. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Um when I'm in a group of people I tend to kind of go back to like teenage Laura who was very awkward and shy and I just find it really hard to like talk to people and have that kind of inner confidence and I just get really nervous and then I become very aware that I'm not talking much and I think oh god I hope people don't think I'm you know arrogant so then I try and force myself to like talk and smile and it is what we call masking um I suppose I do mask a bit because I don't want to just stand there mute and looking awkward. So I really, really try. And then I think, you know, do they think I'm a show off now? Do they think I'm talking too much? The thing I've got to think is just be yourself, Laura. <laughs> don't try. Just, you know, just go with the flow. But it is a big thing for me going to like parties and stuff. So yeah, I'm very overwhelmed by it all, but I'm looking forward to it. I, I genuinely am looking forward to it. And it'd be good for Nathan as well to see his family and you know, us to dress up and he's got his uh, new jeans that he's got, he's got a shirt to wear. I'm not sure what I'm going to wear yet. Choice of two dresses, I think. And then maybe I just won't wear dresses and I'll just wear some trousers with a nice top. I don't know yet. But I'm thinking either a black, plain black lacy dress with like a little cardigan, because I'm really paranoid about my upper arms. Um, or I've got like a black and white polka dot dress which is really, I think it's really nice. Um, and where I've lost a bit of weight, it actually fits a bit better, like it's a bit looser. So I think I think it might probably be that one. 
and the sleeves on that one the polka dot dress kind of come to here so I don't feel so paranoid and self-conscious about the upper arm thing <laughs> so I think I'll go with that if I don't go with a dress and I feel really uncomfortable I think I've just got some like smart black trousers some little ankle boots and I've got like a white lacy top that I've never worn so I don't know I'm just gonna go with the flow later um sorry Nathan said he'd come into the bedroom with me and like I'm gonna just try on some things and he's gonna be I said look be completely honest with me don't don't hold back just say no yes no what you know what he thinks looks best got a new bag for tonight as well I picked this up for like a fiver in the charity shop um I think it's pretty cool actually originally it's from Primark but it's a nice size um, it's quite roomy inside. I just like the pattern on it. Um, because my silver bag that I've been using for ages is starting to look a little bit tatty. And I thought, oh, I can't go looking smart with this kind of tatty looking bag. So I'm going to change over to that one. <sighs> just... <laughs> oh, so anxious. Honestly. Anyway, but yeah, so we're going to the party tonight. So today we've got to do a few bits and pieces. Um, we've done a lot of the housework yesterday. Sort of down here but upstairs we didn't really do so we're gonna do like the bathroom today in our bedroom hoover as well upstairs uh so we've got that today we've got to go around to the cash point get some money out for later i thought i had money on me but i didn't i was like i think i've got like three pound on me which isn't actually going to do anything we're getting a taxi there and my dad bless him i've got around him to come pick us up so we're only staying a couple of hours um and then he's going to come pick us up and stuff and drop us home. Um, so yeah, I want to do my nails today because I just look the. So I dyed my hair. I say I dyed it. Bless him, Nathan dyed my hair for me in the week, and um, it's, it's really stained my nails because obviously I dyed my hair black. No greys, look. Um, and the, yeah, it's kind of stained my nails a bit. So I really need to like scrub at them. And then I'm going to paint them a really nice colour. I don't know what colour, but something bright I want. Either red or pink or I don't know. I've got lots of nail polishes to choose from, so it's fine. <laughs> so yeah, I've got to do my nails at some point today. Um, just kind of get myself ready and, you know, just do bits and pieces around the house. And obviously we've got tonight, we've got the party. I'll try and, you know, get a bit of footage. I think it might help me with my nerves as well, like filming a bit. I don't know why, but I find when if I film, like vlog, it kind of calms me down a little bit. It's like a distraction, I suppose. I don't know. And also, it'd be nice to see um, Nathan's family on video if they want to be on camera. I'm not going to force anybody because not everyone wants to be on camera. But, like, sometimes, you know, people are cool about it. So, try and get some footage of that. When we come back, we're going to watch, we're going to record the shows. And we're going to watch Gladiators. Oh, I love the Gladiators. My favourite two gladiators are Nitro and Giant. Oh no, and Legend as well. Legend's really funny. It's like a bad boy. <laughs> so we're going to watch Gladiators. I'm also going to watch The Masked Singer, which I absolutely love. Take it off. Take it off. So yeah, we've got some... We've got a nice day, but yeah, I just feel so anxious. I've got to try and calm myself down a bit. <sighs> um, also, I would like to do some reading today. I started a new book yesterday and it's really good so i'm gonna try and carry i'll show you later but it's like a nice fantasy book i needed a fantasy i've had a few thrillers lately like dark murder thrillers and i think mm, i think i need a little bit of something lighter so a nice fantasy um so yeah do a bit of reading um tomorrow i've got some ebay to put on i am stopping doing my ebay soon i think i said that in one of my vlogs last week but i'm just still Kind of getting rid of the the stuff i've already got kind of thing so yeah i'll um do some ebay work tomorrow we do, do need to do a bit more sorting out every week we're trying to do a little bit each week in the rooms that we're sorting out bags of this bags of that which needs sorting behind me these big boxes um we have the 100 liter um like plastic container box things which we're putting stuff in like storage boxes so there's still a lot more sorting in the house to do um, but we're not going to do it all at once we can't so we try and do every week we try and do a little bit more kind of thing with the sorting so there we go anyway I'm going to carry on with my bike for a bit then I'm going to make myself some breakfast um, and yeah I might watch a little bit of Netflix 
Um, I might watch Love on the Spectrum. New series is back of that. I know people are very sort of mixed emotions about it, but I, I really do enjoy watching um, Love on the Spectrum. I love the first series. And this is the second series, so the same people and new people are on it. And you get to see carry on seeing their journey and finding love. And I just think it's so sweet, it's so lovely. Um, so yeah I, might, yeah, I might watch an episode of that. Hmm. Anyway, so I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so it's nearly half past one. And me and Nathan just went round to get some money from the cash point. So we've both got cash on us. Um, I'm now just about to change my bag over. So... This is the bag that I've been using, which as you can see is getting a little bit kind of eh, battered. Um, and this is the new bag that I'm going to change it over to. As you can see it's like black with gold studs on. And I, I just thought it was a nice size, like nice and big. I do like a big bag. I like to know I've got lots of space to put loads of rubbish in. Um, and also, yeah, the colouring, like the black and gold would just go with any outfit I was to wear and stuff so yeah i'm gonna sit and change that over now um got my it's meow or never sweatshirt on at the moment um so yeah that is the plan we're gonna do this um and then we've got a little bit of housework to do and then we're gonna start just kind of early just having our showers getting nice and fresh and clean we're not gonna get ready till like tonight there's no point in getting ready this early but at least we'll be clean um and yeah just this afternoon i just want to chill and relax have a little read so i can show you quickly my book okay so this is my current book it's called the city of stardust and it is by georgia summers this is a signed and exclusive edition look at the beautiful sprayed edges with all the keys and stuff that is so pretty um honestly it's really really good i'm really enjoying it so it's a fantasy and I think I needed a fantasy because I've read, read like a lot of thrillers lately, sort of dark books. And I think this is just something that's a bit more fantasy vibes. I think like when you're feeling stressed and you want escapism and you find it in books like I do, fantasy is the ultimate for escapism. Like because it's in like a different sort of world building and the characters or there's normally like magic. And like, I don't know, I just really enjoy fantasies. Anyhow, so this is about a girl um what's her name yeah violet let me just tell you it says it's easy so it says for centuries everly's have seen their brightest and best disappear taken as punishment for a crime that no one remembers for a purpose no one understands their tormentor is a woman named penelope who never ages never grows sick and never forgives a debt 10 years ago violet everly's mother left to break the curse and never returned so now violet must find her mother or she will be taken in her place her hunt leads her into a seductive magical underworld of power-hungry scholars, fickle gods and monsters bent on revenge, and into the path of Penelope's quiet assistant, Alexander, who she knows cannot be trusted, and yet to whom she finds herself undeniably drawn to. Um, tied to a very literal deadline, Violet will travel to the edges of the world to find her mother and the key to the city of Stardust, where the Everly story began. So, honestly, the first bit, I've only read, like, a little bit last night because I got quite tired, but I literally am loving it. So, yeah, I'm really happy. So, that is my current read. So, yeah, this afternoon, I think I'll just, while I'm sort of chilling out and relaxing, I'll have a little read. I have got some YouTube work to do as well, so I might just put the laptop on and do some editing as well and get that done. So, I'll see you in a bit. Condition I put on, it's still not okay. always knotty. I'm like, well, and I combed it through, and it's still knotty. Okay, so I've dried my hair and I'm just straightening it with my JHDs, which are very old. I mean, I've been with you 11 years, right? And I had these before I met you, yeah. way before. Yeah. I had these when I used to go 
pubbing and clubbing. No, I straight my hair. So, part of me wants to get new straighteners, but the other part of me is like, well, why? They still Probably work. Because the ceramic plates ain't that good on that. Yeah, but look, it's going straight. Yeah, to be fair, it's pretty straight to start with. Yeah, because I dried it yeah. straight. Yeah. But they are good. No, they do give an extra straightness yeah. to the hair. Um, I mine. I'd straighten yours for you. I haven't got enough hair to straighten. No, you had it cut in yeah. the week. But I do want some of these straighteners, I think, eventually. But for well, now, they're like... I don't know. Do GHD look... still do straighteners? No, I think we looked them up a while back. I think because you thought yours weren't that good. Yeah. And I don't. I think it was hard to find GHD ones now. Yeah. But they don't sell them in boots and stuff like that. No, do I don't really see them in their it's sort of thing. And... But there is that hair place in Queen's Road, yeah. South End, where they do like their yeah. professional like yeah. hair company products. Yeah. Maybe you get the Dyson style. Oh, Dyson's. Oh, I don't know. And their hair dry looks yeah. super fast. Yeah, supersonic. Mm. You know what I need to do tomorrow? Cut my fringe. Do you want me to do it? Snip, snip, no, snip. I'll do it. Okay. I was tempted to cut it today. But or yesterday, actually. Probably not a good idea before the But party. knowing my luck, right before a party, yeah. and I'll mess my fringe yeah. up. And last it'll... time, just before... Yeah. You yeah. Ended up messing it up. Yeah. Just before my mum's funeral, a few days before that, I thought, you'd cut your thought I would cut my fringe because it was really long. It was longer than this, yeah. and I had to cut it. And it was literally a few days before, and I knew like lots of people and family and that were coming, and I literally messed it up, and it was like yeah, it, it was up there, yeah. it was crooked, and it's given me this paranoia now. I think no, if I need to cut my fringe, just do it when nothing else is happening afterwards. So if it messes up for a few days or whatever. Not when I'm going to an actual party. event. Yeah. Event. It's a party event. event. A party. So are you looking forward to the party? I am. You, you looking forward to your family? Yeah. You looking forward to get dressed up? I know. You looking forward to get dressed up? Yeah. Gonna wear a suit and tie? Well, I'd and go in the, like, your pants. pants. <laughs> Just go in your pants. <laughs> no, you are dressing up. You got a nice shirt. And you got some nice jeans. Very nice jeans. They fit you nice. Yeah. Look nice. No, exactly. Because you've lost so much weight and you're going to carry on losing yeah. it. What are you going to do with all your trousers well, that get too big? Well, I'm not going to buy any new clothes until no. the ones I've got are super stupid. Yeah, because you can just put your belt on. Yeah. But when they start looking baggy, silly, then, then you'll I'll have to get rid of it. Yeah. There's no point keep buying new clothes when I'm going down sizes. Yeah. Well, I had my leggings on the other day because I've lost a bit of weight as well. They were, I showed you, didn't I? I got in and they were like nearly falling down as I was walking home. That they were. And no one wants to see that. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to get on with straightening my hair. And you're watching a Lego leaks video on YouTube, seeing what new Legos coming out. Anything you're fancying? Well, I fancy just started that a minute in. No, you just saw something. You went, that's good. Yeah, that's the, literally the first thing on the screen. Oh, right, okay. It's Notre Dame Cathedral. Notre Dame Cathedral. But know. why would Lego make, like, a religious building? I think that's a bit because weird. It's the architecture series. So oh, okay. So they've Great Pyramid of Giza. Mm. They've released the Himadi Castle. The, oh, fair enough. And what else have they done? Great Wall of China. I like that red oh, telephone oh, box. Yeah, telephone box. Oh, so, you know how much that is? 70 quid. It's not. Yeah, it's 100. 100 yeah. 99. Quite big. Yeah. I was going to surprise you for Valentine's. I thought it was about 30 quid. Yeah, so I looked it up quid. and it was 100 quid. Yeah, I was like, no, not, you're right. It's not 30 quid. Not that you're not no. worthy of that Valentine's. for Valentine's. Yeah. I've got you a good Valentine's present. I've got you a good Valentine's present. Have you? Know it is. Oh, of course. Yeah, my little Lego figure. Yeah. yeah. Yours is something else. <laughs> anyway, I've seen a bit. Right, so I'm just painting my nails. Sorry, the lighting's a bit rubbish. But I've gone for like a two-tone look. And these are the colours that I'm using. This one's from, um, where's that, Poundland, I think? And that one is My Mood. So dreamy. I don't know what brand that is. I think that was like uh, Savers or something, or Superdrug. But yeah, just thought they would look nice together. The two colours. Something a bit different. Okay, so just getting ready. What do you think? Got my polka dot dress. How do I, I look, Bob? I think you look beautiful. Aww. You look very smart and handsome yourself. Thank you. I'm a bit nervous. Got my polka dot dress. Um, I'll straighten the hair, obviously. Put a bit I'll of lipstick on. 
You haven't straightened your hair. No, and he not. hasn't got lipstick on either. But yeah. Kiss, oh yeah, I'll give you a big kiss and you'll have a load of pink lipstick. Um, the colour that I'm wearing, in case you want to know, is this one here. It's um, Amethyst. Amethyst Shimmer. Anyway, so we're going to chill for a bit and then we're going to call a taxi and then go. We just got here. Do you want to wave your hand? <laughs> right, we're going to go in. Right, so it's called the Hadley Suite. Yeah. Okay, we're going up the stairs. Hey, this is the birthday girl. How are you feeling? Are you excited? Oh, good, yeah, really excited. A little bit stressed, but, but once I have the step up in me, I'll be alright. You'll be fine. You've got your 21 light. 21. Right. And I knew you when you was a little girl. And now you're like this. Yeah. <laughs> Auntie Tracy! <laughs> everyone so at home now the time is half past 10 um honestly this is so embarrassing i was all dressed up yeah. now look at me i've got on my 101 dalmatians <laughs> night dress <laughs> and my jacket this is a coat like jacket that i wear when i go out it's because it's blooming freezing Do you want to hate on? Nah, i got my blanket <laughs> I've got my blanket, I've got my jacket. But no, I had a really nice time. Yeah. I'm always a bit awkward. I, I can't help it. I just I just feel so awkward in group situations where it's people I know, people I don't know. I'm just, I'm just a very awkward person. But I think I've done quite well, bearing in mind how awkward I am, and I hope. Nice. And it was nice to see Nathan's family. Did you enjoy seeing yeah. everyone? Got lots of cuddles. and the whole lot's in one room. Yeah. So you, Nathan's from quite a big family, whereas... I'm not, so that's that's weird yeah. for me as well. Nice to see them all. Yeah. See them nice. So you saw your mum, your stepdad, your sisters, your brother, your, cousins, your nieces and nephews, your um, cousin, cousins. Everyone. Just, um, your auntie, auntie as well. Aunties. Two aunties, yeah. Uncle, yeah. So it was cool, it was cool. And I did reasonably all right with the travelling. I do get anxious when I travel in cars or trains or anything, but... The last time I got in the car wasn't very good. I had a really bad panic attack and I had to just get out of the car. But I didn't. I, mean, I was all right in the taxi. I still felt anxious. I could feel myself like... I think it helped it be night time. Do you know what? It did actually help it be night time because the roads weren't as busy. We just kind of drove... You know, I think we got stuck at one traffic light and that was it. For about 30 seconds. Yeah. So that kind of made it easier. But I, yeah, I did Which all right. To be fair, when you used to drive, you preferred night time driving. Yeah, that is true. Back in the day when I was driving, I used to go and meet... We used to go out with night time drives. Yeah, we used to go and... Well, yeah, with you, I used to go on, like, night time drives down the seafront and stuff. Yeah. And then when I used to go around with this group of girls, I used to meet them and drive at night and drive home. And It's because the roads are less stressful, it's yeah. quieter, it's a calmer feeling about night time driving, actually. Not like yeah, everything. Yeah, that's the night I like looking at all the shop fronts all lit up. And I hadn't been that route because like, we went to a place say, called Hadley. And I hadn't been to Hadley for years. Um, and I say the last time I was in a car, I wasn't good. So I was like dreading it in a way, getting in the car. But I was all right. Hmm. I held Nathan's hand pretty much most of the journey. We chatted and it. looked out the window and just, yeah, I was all right. So I'm proud of myself for anxiety tonight. I, I think I've done all right. Because um, we do want to go to Hadley again. This oh, year. 100%. Not going to. Definite, yeah. definite going to go to Hadley and there's a farm there. I might vlog a bit of it. Yeah. Me feeding a sheep or a goat or something funny. Um, have, because my the anxiety... The goat feeding you. The goat feeding me, yeah. But because of the anxiety, I haven't been able to go to Hadley Farm for years. 
And mum kept offering to take me, and I'd like, I can't, I can't drive that, like, I can't go in the car that far. Now I've done it. I think, you know what, it wasn't as bad as I thought. And I'd recognise the routes yeah. and like the shop fronts and things. So definitely going to do that this year. Yeah. Within 100% we're going. We yeah. are getting, getting them animals fed. We're going to feed them, Watered. pamper them, stroke Fighting their heads and fluffiness. Take one home with us. I don't think we can take no, an animal home like from the farm. But yeah, so had a good night. Just come in, had something to eat. And I'm now just going to have my little, um, this is, a, what is it? Muller Light Chocolate Fix, 70 calories. Dessert, so I'm gonna have that. So yeah, also we're gonna watch <laughs> Gladiators. <laughs> and who's my favourite gladiators? Three of them. Uh, Go. Giant. Yes. Nitro. Yes. Fury. Yeah, but she's not my third legend. Legend. Because he's like nasty. Legend, yeah, legend. I like I like people who are nasty. It's funny. So we're going to watch Gladiators and then I think you're going to go on your laptop for a bit and I'm going to watch The Masked Singer and you're just going to look up when they take the mask yeah. off, see who it is. So anyway, had a good night. Just, yeah, going to chill the rest of the evening. So I'll see you lovely people tomorrow. Hey everyone, good morning. It's Sunday. The time is now half past ten. I've been up about, I don't know, half an hour or so. Um... But yeah, I'm just going to head into town in a minute. I want to go Sainsbury's. I've got to get a few bits in there. Um, I need to take a couple of library books back. The library is closed today, but I just put them through the little Dropbox thing. Um, I might look in Deichmann, the German shoe shop, just to see if I can find some like cheapy trainers. Um, and also look for a bag. The bag that I used last night, it was brilliant. Like It went well with the outfit. And if I was going like to something smart, it was perfect. However, as an everyday bag, it just didn't have as many compartments as I like in a bag. I always like a bag with lots of compartments because I have so much crap, <laughs> so much stuff in my bag that I like to know they're all in separate compartments. So, yeah, I might just have a look in there because they do do a lot of bags and I've got bags from there before. So, And they're reasonably priced as well. So, yeah, have a little look in there. But as a bag, like as I say, for like a smart occasion, that, that other one was perfect and I'll keep it. But for, as I say, everyday stuff, I need maybe a bit bigger um, and also just more compartments. So we'll have a look. Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And also, it's a great way for me to get some exercise this morning, get my steps in for the day. Um, I find that when I walk to town and back, it's normally like about 5,000, 5, 6,000 steps, which is fine. And then obviously the rest of the day I'm active, and, you know, walking around the house and stuff. But I think the bulk of my my steps every day is from walking to town and back. So it's a good way of me to get the steps in. I will be going on the bike at some point today. Um, I was thinking like, I was laying in bed and I was thinking, should I go on the bike and then go out? And then I was like, oh no, because I'll be tired from the bike and then have to walk around town as well and walk back. So I was like, no, 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 no. I'm just literally going to um, do the bike at some point this afternoon or whatever. But yeah, I am... Um, I still feel really drained and tired. Like, I had a good sleep. I fell asleep on the sofa last night after we watched our shows. Um, I fell asleep and then went to bed and went straight to sleep. So I didn't have any problems falling asleep. Um, had a good sleep. But I'm still really tired. So, I don't know. It's just one of those days where I'm just going to be a bit drained. Hopefully going out in the fresh air will kind of wake me up a little bit. Um, but, yeah, so that's the plan. So you can come with me. Come on. <laughs> Okay, so it's really windy today. It's not actually cold, but it's quite windy. Um, so yeah, I'm in town. I've just been to the library, dropped my books off. Um, there were loads of pigeons waiting around the uh, book drop thing. So, and because I had my books in a bag, they thought I had a load of food in there. And I was like, go away. Like, <laughs> I, I don't like hate pigeons, but I am scared of them. And I blame my mum for that because she had a really bad um, bird phobia. And so obviously as a kid, I would see her being scared of birds and then I got scared of birds. But anyway, um, I don't hate them, I'm just scared of them. So I was trying to put my books in the box thing and as I started rustling, they were like, oh, she's got bread in there or something. And I was like, no. And I'm talking to the pigeons going, there's no food in this bag, they're just books. Uh, obviously they didn't understand me and they kept trying to get near me. I was like, oh. But I did drop them off in the end of the book, so that's all done. Um... But yeah, I'm just going to head into Victoria Plaza now. I need to uh, go into Dykeman and look for a bag.
Wow, these are just, oh my God, amazing. Look how blingy, blingy, bling they are. Oh, so fleshy. Just don't know if they're a bit big though. Look, there's quite a bit of space in there. And I do prefer ones that you can actually lace up yourself instead of just being already done, if that makes sense. Now they feel like they're slipping a bit at the back. I'm gonna try these ones on. Okay, so these are quite nice. I like the like mint colour and the grey. So they're the sketches, so that's an idea. Oh, look at these bad boys. I've just found these feelers as well, and they're a bit cheaper. So <laughs> I'm going to try these as well. Oh, wow. These are just so cool. They feel super comfy as well, and they're cheaper. I'm going to get these ones. These are the ones coming home with me. I don't believe it. I was like, these are the ones I'm going to get. But then look, these say 39. They say 38. <sighs> so, I don't know. I'm going to have to have another look. See the boxes there. <sighs> I'm gonna get this bag here. How cool is this? Like quilted look. Um, so I like the handles as well. It's also got like the long strap as well if I want to put it on it. So loads of um, compartments inside, which is good. Love it. So windy. It's so windy. <laughs> Ashtrays are blowing off of the tables. Uh, my hair's everywhere. Right, I'm just going to head to Savers. I need to get some uh, sponges. Ooh, blown away. But yeah, going to go to Savers now. It's like they're doing a protest here. I see my dad. I see my dad. Just bumped into Dad and Chan. Had a little chat with him. Had a little giggle. Had a little laugh. Uh, right, so I'm just heading into Savers now. Okay, in we go. Why do I always bump into people and I look absolutely scruffy? I look a proper mess today. And I was like, oh, I don't care, it's only Sunday. Hello, Dad. <laughs> Ooh, oh, well. At least he saw me looking smart last night because he gives us a lift back from the party. But, oh, here's what I want. Here's sponges, sponges. I'm just going to have a quick look here, see if there's any, like, uh, other flavours. I've got the chocolate. I love the chocolate. It's so nice. Um, strawberry. I don't know if I'd like a strawberry one. I'm kind of intrigued to see what it'd be like, but I just love chocolate so much. The chocolate one that I'm just like, meh, why do I need to try another one? But cafe latte, ooh, banana. I don't think I like the Slim Fast banana. Tasty treats, Slim Fast chocolate bars, but they're quite thick and chewy, so I don't really want them. And we've got the little crispy things, 95 calories, baked cheddar, sour cream, chives, meh. Um, Alpenlite. Once again, they're all a bit chewy. Chewy, chewy. <sighs> okay. I don't think Nathan needs any of his smelly bits and pieces. I think he's all sorted for that. Um, yeah. I was just going to say I need razors, but I don't because so I got them the other day in Poundland. Okay. Right, I'm just going to go and pay now. Okay, so I'm just being really naughty and having a little look at the books. I was like, I'm not going to buy any more books, but don't be silly, I'm a bookworm. So what I do, okay, just seeing this one here, uh, this is by Alex North, and it's called The Half Burnt House. Everybody's heard the stories, nobody knows the secrets. I absolutely love The Whisper Man, I thought it was fantastic. So if ever I like an author, I always look for like other books that they've done. Um, North can terrify on one page and break your heart on the next. Oh wow, this looks really cool. Uh, Four fifty, which is a good price. Honestly, if you're looking for books, it's worth looking in Sainsbury's if you've got a Sainsbury's near you. Because like even the um, what's it called? The hardbacks are cheaper. I mean, for example, ten fifty for the new Sarah J. Mass book. Um, I paid like twenty quid in Waterstones or twenty two. It's like what? Coming here and it's ten fifty. Um, but yeah, they've got some new books by the looks of it. Got some romancy ones and stuff. But look, I'm after the dark stuff, the creepy stuff. So let's see what it's about. I don't know. It sounds a bit, oh, I don't know, stabbed to death in his own bed. I don't, I don't like gory stuff. I like creepy, but I don't like gory. Oh, I don't know, because it looks really cool. Like the cover and that. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, what's this one? That's not my name. Isn't that a song? That's not my name. That's not my 
name. <laughs> Sorry. Singing. I don't think that's for me. The Boardwalk Bookshop. Could this be the place to find happy ever after? I love books about books, whether it's a library or bookshop, or whatever. This cover is so cute. Look at it. Mm. I think mainly I like it just because the cover's cute, but it doesn't sound that exciting, if I'm honest with you. But it has got a beautiful cover. I'll give you that. Maybe if they had it at the library, I'd get it. But I think I am going to get this one. I'm going to brave it because, as I said, I really love The Whisper Man. I thought it was fantastic. So, yeah, I think, I think I'm going to get it. Some other ones I've got over here. Bookshop by the Loch. A lot of bookshop books today. Oh, that's cute as well. Look, bookends. <laughs> I've actually got the Fury to read. I've sent it from the publishers, so. What's that? Knife skills for beginners. Oh, my. What is this? Oh, my God, they've got pre-loved. A love story about things. Oh, my God, I wanted to read this one. Which is that? Three quid? Oh, my God, that's amazing. Yeah, I think she works in like a charity shop or something. Hold on, let me read this. Yeah, the charity shop, look. She meets unlikely friends, donated items with untold stories and somewhere amongst the dust, the intoxicating possibility of a fresh start. Ah, uh, yeah, I wanted to read this one. I can't remember who it was, but someone I watched said about this, like a YouTuber, and they said it was really good. Because I love charity shops, so I don't know. Yeah, for three quid, that might be worth a buy. Oh God, I'm being so naughty. Ugh. Right, I'm gonna have a look what this one's about because I love the cover. It's really cool. I am a cover buyer girl. Well, obviously I do read what it's about. I don't just buy it, but I am drawn to a bit from the thing. Right, hold on, let's have a look. Recipe for disaster. The school rests on a knife edge. Right, all boils down to murder. Right, let's have a look, hold on. Nah, I don't think it's for me. It's still got a cool cover, but nah. All right, come on, let's get out of here. Okay, so it's quarter past three. Just had a lovely shower. Feel nice and clean and refreshed now. Um, Nathan's just made me a juice in the juicer. Mm -hmm. It's literally just pineapple. I was going to put uh, oranges in as well. So that would be orange and pineapple. But when I got the orange out of the fruit bowl, they'd gone mouldy. So I need to go and get more oranges in the week. But yeah, to be fair, on its own, it tastes nice as well, just pineapple. Um, also, I've got my bottle of water here, so I'm making sure that I'm drinking lots of water. Um, but yeah, I am now going to, uh, I think I'm going to do my editing. I've got to do some YouTube work and editing. I might do like a quick video premiere as well. So yeah, basically YouTube work and editing is coming up for me for the next like hour or so. So. Okay, so just getting a bit of footage of Nathan's new game he's been playing called Power World. Power World, yeah. See, I remembered. Quite impressed with myself, I remembered it's the really name. Good. So this is basically a bit like Pokemon. And you can collect the pals, I suppose they're called, aren't they? But you can actually get them like working and doing tasks and stuff, is that right? Yeah. And they are quite cute. I mean, I've got the... One who likes the little cow or the cow. The cow, yeah. And there's like sheep. Where's his little face? Oh. He's here then. <laughs> he's trying to get out. There he looks, his derpy little face. So cute. Ah. So yeah, that's what he's been playing recently. You like this one? It's good. So it's like a survival game and like Pokemon and... Yeah, it's a mix. Yeah. And everyone is raving about it, so it must be pretty popular. Those are like people that I follow on Twitter, the ones that are gamers, they're going on about it. it. And you're playing it. Everyone's playing Everyone's it. Everyone's playing it. You're not playing it. I'm not playing it, no. I am doing a video premiere, which uh, is there. I've called it Fat and Fed Up, Week 5. Things are not good, but then I get answers. So there we go. So yeah, that is happening, and I'm just about to have a little read. So yeah, this is my book I'm reading still, The City of Stardust by Georgia Summers. I have to keep showing you these sprayed edges, because they're just so nice. Um, I've got my trainers over there. Just trying to zoom in. There you go. You can see them properly. They're sitting like that because I took a photo for my Instagram. <laughs> I don't just leave my trainers randomly in the middle of a room on a, on a box. Um, 
but yeah, Nathan liked them, which is cool. Um, I just love the pastel colours. I put a picture on Instagram. People are already saying that they love the pastel colours. I really, honestly, I really think they're cool. I was just drawn to them. Um, and they're really comfortable as well, which is good. So I got some newer trainers. Um, and the bag as well. At some point this afternoon or this evening, I'm going to sit and change over my bag from the one that I used last night um, when I went out, obviously, to um, the new bag. So I'll do that in a bit. But for now, oh, I can't stop yawning. Um, I'm just going to do a bit of reading. And obviously, if people chat to me in the chat room, I'll chat back. But if they don't, I'll just leave it kind of playing. Um, I've done a bit of editing as well. Um, I think, oh, no, I've got to sit and do my comments. I need to reply to my comments. I might do that in a minute. And then I'll start reading. <laughs> Okay, so the time is now quarter past seven and I'm just doing my eBay work. Um, I am going to be finishing up doing this eBay malarkey soon, but I've still got bits and pieces that I'm just trying to get rid. So I'm doing that. Um, trying to get rid of this Winnie the Pooh duvet cover. And I've got these um, like nail strips I'm getting rid of. And in here, this is really just, yeah, just sad, but I am getting rid of my mum's shoes, sandals and slippers. Uh, me and my mum always had this, like, joke, and she always said, when I'm dead, you can sell my stuff, me shoes, me clothes, and it took me a while uh, to part with these, but I have decided that, you know, she barely worn them as well. She used to get shoes and just never wear them, and just wear her old ones with holes in, because they're more comfortable, <laughs> like these slippers and stuff, like, they just sat on the uni, and she never wore them, so I was just looking at them, and I have kept a lot of her clothing um, and I've also given some to charity and some I've put on eBay. So I was just like, oh, you know, what is the point? I can't, you know, they're no good for me because I thought maybe I could wear them, but they're too big. They're a size six. I'm only a size five. So I was like, look, this is silly. I know my mum would want me to put this stuff on eBay because she always used to joke about it and talk about it. So, yeah, I'm just selling um, like a little shoe bundle there. Um, I've also got a couple of my dresses that I'm going to be putting on because they're too big, which is nice or sad because I really love this one. I only got that a few months ago. Uh, this is from, um, what is it, Timu. And it's a size like 3XL. Because uh, you never know how they're going to come up the sizes. So I thought, if I've got a 3XL, it's more like a sort of 18, 20. Um, but it, when I got it, right, it actually fit nice. Like it was a really like perfect fit. And then when I went to try it on the other day, it was just way too big and it just like a sack on me. It actually made me look fatter because it was so big. Um, so Nathan was like, oh, I was like, be honest with me. And he was like, it don't look good. I was like, I know, I don't think so either. So yeah, I'm going to pop that on eBay. Hopefully this will do well because it's quite like gothic -y and stuff. Um, and then this one here, this one I'd got ages ago in a charity shop um, and I loved it. But once again, it just looks like a sack. It just, it's way too big. So I'm going to put these two dresses on. And I've also got a load of shirts shirts of Nathan's um that he's had for absolute years that he just doesn't wear anymore um so we're just gonna do like a nice little sort out bundle of his shirts as well so yeah I'm busy busy doing eBay just showing off the gun show go oh, can you count me down three two one what do you reckon wow so noticeable <laughs> Look at me, sitting here in my coat. I'm so cold. Um, I don't care. I'm not embarrassed about sitting in a coat. Um, just going to watch The Apprentice, You're Fired. I watched The Apprentice, new series is back now on BBC One on, is it Thursday? Yeah, it was Thursday. Um, but then there's the after bit that they call You're Fired, where they interview the person who got voted out and they just have different guests on there and stuff. So, uh, I'm watching that. Nathan's just going to go on the bike. You ready to I'm to ride? Baby, I was born to but ride, bike ride. Yeah. Um, so, he's going on the bike. <laughs> and, yeah, I'm just going to watch this for a bit. I am going to go on the bike today. I'm not going to get out of it. I will do it. Um, but I've got to wait for my dinner to go down. I think, I think you have to wait like two or three hours after you've eaten. So, I'm waiting until sort of after nine and then I'm going to get on it. Get on it. Um, so that is the plan. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling now. I'm going to let him get on the bike and I'm going to watch The Apprentice. You're fired. <laughs> 